Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. What I want to have a look at in this session is how you can link a SharePoint list into an Access database and how you can send data from Access to a SharePoint list. So first of all, I have a database, uh, so it's got one table in it. I'm going to bring a second table, which will be a SharePoint list. So to do that, you need to go to external data and a new data source so drop this arrow down and you have different options as you can see but the one I want is from online services and SharePoint list now you have to select the location of your list so that is where mine is so I select that location and then I want this data be to be linked so that I can edit it in access or SharePoint and obviously if it's in SharePoint, I can share that with my team and many, many people can input into the list. If you select this option, it will just be a new table and not linked. Next, now these are all the tables on my SharePoint site. The one I want is staff details. Staff details, okay. And then that should bring that into access. And if I open staff details, you can see the information is there. Change the wage from 30,000 to 50,000 for Alana. So she'll like that. So I've changed that now. If I go into the SharePoint site, um, what you'll see in the SharePoint site straight away is that that has been updated. So this is the SharePoint site. And you can see that that's already gone to £50,000. So that's already updated. So I've just minimised that. So what have you changed in Access is changed on the SharePoint site. Now to bring that, if I close that one down. So if you want to put a table from Access into a SharePoint list, this is what you can do. So I've selected this staff training records table. I'll just rename that slightly. And then I'm going to the external data tab. And this time I'm on the export part and then selecting more and SharePoint list. Check the site address and then OK to that. And then if you're going to do this over and over again, so this is a way of keeping the records update, you could save these steps and then create a macro maybe to run this automatically on, on close or database close and stuff like that. But I'm not going to tick that just at the moment. I'll close it for now. And if I go and get the SharePoint site and have a look at the site contents on this site, what I should have is staff training records, which is that file, that table from Access. And those are the records. You can see them all there. But this is not linked. So I would have to keep uploading that. So what you could then do, now you've put that table into Access, if you want to then share this. I mean, this is, you would not normally do it like this. But if you've already got a database with things in and data in and you want to start using SharePoint list this is probably one way that you could do this you could then just um, bring it back in like I showed you before so if I go um, new SharePoint list check all that to link this list now there might be a bit of a clash here because of but there it is now let's see what happens when I bring this in Okay, it's done. It's just put a number one after it, so that's okay. So now that is a linked list. So if I change this, if I select Mr. Green, and he could be in the sales department, and he can be on peanuts. And let's say he joined today. You need to give him an ID number. So if I close this down, you're basically updating that list in SharePoint. So if I go back into the list, there's Mr. Green sales automatically updated. So that's just a quick video of how you can export, 
access tables into a SharePoint list and also how you can link a SharePoint list into an access database and get the best of both worlds. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.